was a quiet night, which didn't seem right in the glory hall saloon. Those that were there would just sit and stare as they heard each ragtime tune. Try as they would to react as they should, the crowd was drifting apart. When out of the night, which was really a fright, came a dog, a horse, and a cart. The door flew wide open, and just outside, a leering face appeared. Twas a carnival man who was driving the van, and toward the lights had steered. With long dark face and coat to match, he slithered through the door. Took one quick look at that morbid crowd and fell upon the floor. A tobacco tin, which was filled with gin, was found on somebody's hip. And God, how he sighed and his eyes opened wide as they gave him a healthy nip. The crowd got a treat as he rose to his feet and told of his magical powers. He would fly to the ceiling, paint a portrait revealing if the piano played hearts and flowers. A drink on a house for this rummy old souse, and I'll show you a trick or two. He gulped down the drink, and quick as a wink, around the room he flew. He paused on the ceiling, showed no proper feeling, but pulled out a paint box instead, and painted his love from below, not above, and explained how she lost her head. Let him down and going out of town, attired in a can-can dress. She was slightly misguided, with intentions divided, and got in a terrible mess. She took up with a minor, now what could be finer, but she never knew where to stop. She found her another, much more like a brother, and didn't know which one to drop. With one in each bar, and it wasn't too far to fly between the two. She thought she'd try magic with results that were tragic. She'd forgotten a word or two. And so to this day, in her own unique way, she is still very much to be seen. With her face in one place, and her base up in space. With a block and a half in between, a block and a half in between, with a block and a half in between.